Here at Carnegie Mellon University, we're very interested in additive manufacturing, which is commonly called 3D printing. We have an important center in this area and a lot of expertise. And the computer vision approach to understanding microstructural images fits right in with that new technology. It fits in in three ways. The first is, in additive manufacturing, like in any other kind of manufacturing, you have to start with a raw material. And in additive manufacturing of metals particularly, that raw material is a powder of some metal system, whether it's titanium-based or aluminum-based or steel or nickel. So you have a powder, and the properties of that powder, how well it flows, how well it spreads, the size of the particles in the powder, very much affect the additive manufacturing process. Now we can start with pictures of the powders. We can classify the powders. We can tell you which batch they belong to. We can also sort them. Is it a good batch or is it a batch that doesn't meet specifications? And we can also look at how, for example, the powders change as they're recycled, because in a typical additive manufacturing process, you don't use all the powder in the build. You use some of it and the rest gets dumped back in the bin. That's going to change the characteristics of the powder. We can, with the, with the fingerprint, tell how far the recycled powder has strayed from the original powder. And so these are all very helpful tools to, for the quality control engineer to be able to use to understand these raw materials and to work with them in an engineering sense. The second thing, the second way that we can use the computer vision techniques in additive manufacturing involve process control. During the additive manufacturing process, the microstructure of the material is established. And because microstructure controls properties, that means the properties of the outcome part are established as well. And so we want to make sure that the microstructure that's getting placed in the part by the manufacturing process is the one that corresponds to the properties we want. For example, one particular microstructure may give strength to something like an axle, and another microstructure might give a very smooth finish to something like a body panel. We want to be able to control that during the process. And again, that's a matter of looking at and understanding the images of the microstructure produced by particular processes. The third thing we want to be able to do, especially with additive manufactured parts, is understand the quality of the part that comes out of the process. And the reason is, in the olden days, if we were going to produce something like an airplane wing part, we would produce a whole lot of them and we would test them extensively. We would break them and we would put them through various cycles of testing. Nowadays, with added manufacturing, that's the last thing you want to do. This is a technology that allows you to produce a, a tailored specific part in small volume. Um, you don't want to make a thousand of them and break them before you, before you say it's a good part. If we're able to look at the microstructure of the additively manufactured part and determine if it's good or bad, if it meets specifications or doesn't, and we can do that automatically and with great confidence in our judgment, that enables us to qualify these parts for use with far fewer tests uh, and far less expense.